The EMV transition is sweeping the country, and if you are a retail establishment, now is the time to prepare. These payment cards, which are embedded with a microchip, provide a higher level of security than traditional magnetic stripe cards and help prevent counterfeit card fraud. The latest EMV-enabled payment terminals are available in countertop, short-range wireless Bluetooth, and long-range wireless GPRS models to fit your business needs. The VX520 countertop terminal is an all-in-one solution that offers an integrated pin pad and printer and the ability to accept multiple payment types, whether it's a traditional magnetic stripe card, EMV chip card, or a contactless payment type such as a mobile wallet. Let's take a look at how to conduct sales transactions for each of these three different payment types. To begin, select Sale using the function buttons on the side of the screen. Enter the amount of the transaction and confirm the amount is correct. You may then proceed with the desired payment type. To process a magnetic stripe transaction, swipe the card. Press F1 for credit or F2 for debit. If the transaction is credit, you may be prompted to key in the last four digits of the card and press enter. If the transaction is debit, the card holder will be asked to enter their PIN. To process an EMV chip card transaction, the card holder will insert their chip card into the terminal and leave it inserted throughout the transaction. The card holder may then be required to enter their PIN or sign for the transaction. When prompted, the customer may then remove their card from the terminal and return terminal to clerk. To process a contactless transaction, such as a mobile wallet, the card holder will hold their device over the terminal display until it beeps. The transaction can then proceed either as a credit or debit transaction. Voiding is used when you need to cancel a transaction that has recently been processed. The void must be processed before the settlement is done at the end of the day. To process a void, begin by pressing the More button on the top row until you see Void. Press the F key beside Void. Press F1 for Yes to void the last transaction or No if you want to do a search for the transaction. Press F1 for Yes to confirm the void or F2 for No to cancel the void. Refunding a transaction enables you to return a portion or the entire amount you charge the customer when a transaction has already been settled and sent for funding. To process a refund, press the More button on the top row until you see Refund. If prompted, key in the supervisor password and then key in the dollar amount to be refunded. Press F1 for yes to confirm the dollar amount. Then swipe, tap, or insert the card on which the amount is to be refunded. 